Softplan's wall type menu allows for both the definition and the drawing of complex log wall designs within the program. Here it can be seen there are both 8 inch and 10 inch log walls defined with both half, bottom, and top logs. Within 3D, upon selecting the wall type, a 10 by 10 grid will be displayed which will allow for the sketching of the walls within the drawing. Here it can be seen as the tape measure calls out a temporary dimension of what the size or length of the wall types are that have been sketched. Once the walls have been laid out, the 3D view navigator can be used to view the model from different angles and by zooming up the intersecting corners of where the logs overlap or project past one another can be viewed in a closer detailed view. Because both the horizontal and vertical walls as they sit in plan were drawn using the exact same half log top, you can see that the logs actually run through one another rather than stagger uh, their intersecting point. Using edit item, the 10 inch log wall half top can be changed to a half log wall bottom, which will now allow for the staggering of the logs as they come together. Once again, returning to the 3D view controller, the model can be oriented to the opposite side, zoomed up, and the same change to the wall type that was used can be made to the opposite side. As with all things within SoftPlan, it is possible to go in and define or customize the walls. By editing the walls in plans, things such as the projection, how far the log wall shoots past another one can be modified. Here, it can be changed to 10 inches so that on both the right and left side, the log protrudes 2 inches further. Editing the vertical wall, the projection could be removed completely by setting it to 0 inches. Certainly, the customization of the log walls goes beyond just projections. In addition to the profile views that are there, other profiles can be used on the log walls or your own customizable definitions be created, saved into the library, and assigned to the logs themselves. Zooming up to this outer right corner and doing an edit of the log, the wall definition menu can be opened. Here it can be seen for this log when the slider bar is slid to the right that the half log 10 inch is actually using a flattened round bottom. By changing it to a chamfer we'll get rid of the rounding and rather go more to a chamfered or 45 degree corner or profile. The same full chamfer could be used on the full logs and so when an OK is selected to close out of the menu the three-dimensional model will regenerate showing the new log wall type. Obviously the same thing would want to be done on the intersecting wall that runs into it so using the wall definition menu make the same changes to select the 10 by 10 chamfer as well as the 10 inch flattened chamfer top. Selecting OK, the model will be updated for preview. These customizable tools should enable you, the log wall designer, to be able to create and generate three-dimensional images that portray the model and the design as you intended it for the customer.